This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. All right, Against the Odds time. We are descending into madness in modern, and we'll just shambling that past the turn. We actually have turn three descent into madness if we want to, thanks to our pented prism. See what our opponent's doing. Our razor verge thicket. And Ancient Stirrings. Are they Troning? They're Troning. Opponent passes. We'll play a Plains and run out our Prism. Pass the turn. Urza's Power Plant. And Sylvan Scrying. Opponent's getting close. Getting close to having Tron. Ghost Quarter. Yeah, we're going for it. We came here to descend into Madness. We are descending into Madness. Let the fun begin. <laughs> Pass the turn. What do you got, opponent? Say nothing. There's the mine that they tutored up. Ugh. We know they have tower, too. But we can ghost quarter the mine next turn. Sylvan Scrying. Oh, good golly. Do they get another mine? They get another tower. So they have another mine? Well, let's start adding counters. We will get rid of Pented Prism. Opponent, Saxo Land. Ooh, boy, that's a good one. So I think what we want to do here is Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin the Power Plant. Grab a Swamp. And then run out a wall of omens. Draw a card. Another lingering souls. All right, pass the turn. So we can't get Tron this turn. And our Descent of Madness is ticking up. Is this the secret to beating Tron? <laughs> Did we stumble into the secret? Opponent passes. Well, we will add a counter to Descend into Madness. Get rid of wall of omens. Get rid of Inquisition of Kozlek. What's our opponent exile? Urza's Mine and Ulamog from hand. So play a Lingering Souls. Play Godless Shrine. Tapped. Stop on our opponent's upkeep. Pass the turn. Ghost Quarter the Mine. No lands to find. No lands. It's a strip mine. Oh man. It's kind of working. Oh, another mine. They're still going to get Tron set up, aren't they? Apparently. Spirit. Spirit. Wrath of God. Fatal Push isn't super helpful. Play Lingering Souls. After all this, we're going to still get got. Is that the end of this story? Our opponent's going to go Tron Land, Ugin, and we lose. Tron Land. <laughs> World Breaker. <sighs> oh, wow, did they draw an insane amount of Tron pieces. Flashback Lingering Souls. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They somehow managed to draw eight i mean they did cast two sylvan scryings but still eight of <laughs> eight of twelve eight of twelve have been have been drawn at least opponent ancient stirrings oh this is absurd sure sure opponent sure oh man do i hate tron tron is tron is just the worst even without eldrazi temple still just the worst collective brutality what's in your hand opponent Path to Exile. We can't beat a Karn, though. We attack everything at Karn, we lose a spirit, and Karn goes back up to nine. We just, we can't, we can't beat it. There's no, no beating of the Karn. Wow, Descent was sweet, too. It just was not sweet enough. Our opponent just, holy, 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 Tron lands. Oh, <laughs> look what's on top of the deck. It's another Karn. Who would have thought? Takes up Karn. What can we draw? Is there a card that we can draw? Definitely not a thought seize. Well, we will pass the turn. Wow, this is a sad one. Takes up Karn. Takes our thought seize. Did you draw another Karn? Just Infa Karn? Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's an Ugin! Oh! Opponent, gonna start beating down with the World Breaker. Yup, sure. Sure, you do that, opponent. We draw. Well, at least we drew a Thought Seize. That's something. We get to Thought Seize the Ugin. Although, this doesn't... Ugh, this isn't doing anything. Karn just gains so much loyalty. So we hit Karn for seven. Takes down Karn. Except, did they draw... They drew another Karn. Oh, no. No. Tell me that's not true. Gets in... Maybe they, they must have drawn a Wrath. Gets in with World Breaker. Yeah, down to ten. Passes. Well, fire up Shambling Vent. We're sending everything at Karn. We gotta make sure it's dead. Play Godless Shrine. Tapped. Pass the turn. Our, our opponent still has Tron. Man, if we could kill one Tron land. No. 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 Wizards. Opponent. Someone. 
All right, worm coil engine. At least it's not a Karn, although it's still pretty tough to beat. How do we beat any of this stuff? We got Rass, I guess, sort of. All right, Eternal Scourge. Pass the turn. Really? Really? It's an Oblivion Stone. Puts a counter on the World Breaker. Well, we're losing now. Goes attacking. Kill the Worm Coil. Oh, we didn't even block with enough. Yeah, we're just dead. Yeah, we meant to block with more, but it doesn't really matter. We can't, we can't win from here. It's a Plains. We scoop it up. All right, well, Fulminator Mage is in, Surgical Extraction in, Fatal Pushes out, Anguish Unmaking in, Stony Silence in, Inquisition's out. Try it like that. Well, we can Thought Seize. That's something. And we have a Field of Ruin. So Godless Shrine, untapped. Thought Seize our opponent. Oblivion Stone, Nature's Claim, Chromatic Sphere, Expedition Map, Ancient Stirrings, Pass the Turn, Razor Verge Thicket, and Expedition Map. Well, more Field of Ruins are good. Let's thought seize our opponent. Take Oblivion Stone. Play Shambling Vent. Pass the turn. Ooh, they drew another Ancient Strings. All right. We could also top deck our one Stony Silence, and that would be super insane. Ooh, Elspeth, eh? Well, play Field of Ruin. Run out Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. No Descent into Madness yet. Cracks the map. Gets Tower. Plays the Tower. Plays Chromatic Sphere. All right. Yup. So one, two, Field of Ruin the Tower, grab a Swamp, play a Swamp, flashback our Lingering Souls, and do some attacking. We might actually be able to play Elspeth next turn. Cracks the map, gets another Tower, plays the Tower, there's a Spell Skite. Oh boy, more Elspeth. Godless Shrine untapped, play Elspeth, take up Elspeth, get in with our Spirits, and pass the turn. We can actually ultimate Elspeth next turn if we want to. Opponent plays a map. Cracks it. Power plant. Plays power plant. And passes. Hmm. All right. Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin. Tower. Get a planes. Fire up our shambling vent just for some life gain. Take up Elspeth. Go attacking. We are out of ghost quarter effects. Opponent blocks. Yep. Pass the turn. All right, opponent cashes in the sphere to draw a card. And our opponent scoops it up. We got there. No descent, but we managed to cruise past Tron. No changes. Run it back. Uh, too, too slow, I think. Too slow. Against Tron, we just, it doesn't do anything. Uh, uh, no ghost quarters. We're going to keep it, though. Lingering Souls to the bottom. I'm expecting we just get turn three with this hand, unless we get pretty lucky. Ugh. More eternal scourges. <laughs> okay. One of you on it. Cracks. Green mana. Angel Zergs. Another mine. All right. Well, at least they have the same Tron piece. Oh, dear. Well, if I knew our opponent was going to go stumbling around, maybe we would have kept the first hand. Opponent cracks. Green mana. Sylvan's crying. Close to Tron. Could still have it next turn. Oh, they do have it. Uh, Field of Ruin? All right. Well, run out Prism. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> Oh dear. Tron. And something horrible. Worm Coil. Well, that's not the mo And Oblivion Stone. Well, if we draw Field of Ruin, we could still be in the game. Elspeth. All right. Uh, we'll pass the turn, I guess. Oh, Tron. Well, we got a game off of him. Counters up the Worm Coil. Opponent gets in. Yep. Yeah, we'll take the hit. I think we're just pretty dead. All right. I guess we pass. Discard Lingering Souls. Oh, here it comes. Ugin, the oh, Spirit Dragon. All right. Ah, oh, Tron, 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 Tron. All right. Against the Mulligan's time. Playing some Descent into Madness in Modern. And uh, I guess we keep this. There's no Descent. We got some removal, which is something. We'll see. Overgrown Tomb for our opponent. Cycles of Street Wraith. And there's a Thought Seize. Yeah, I got it. Takes a Fatal Push. Well, that's Godless Shrine untapped. Thought Seize our opponent. Opponent's hand is pretty bad. A terminate and lands now. Was two terminates. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. Well, play the planes. Run out. Wall of Omens. Draw a card. Come on, Descent into Madness. <laughs> you could do it. You could do it. Stomping grounds. Tapped. Thought Seize, eh? Not great here. Swamp for our opponent. And Inquisition of Kozlik. Probably takes our fatal push. Yep. 
opponent terminates. I assume they have nothing in hand, but this Thought Seize is not going to get better. Uh, teamer Battle Rage, all right. Play Shambling Vent, pass the turd. Come on, Elspis, you can do it. There's Vernon Catacombs. The scary part is if our opponent just draws one threat, it's so much, so much badness for us. Marsh Flats, crack it. Grab a Plains, and we're going to be greedy. Let's shamble. If they drew another removal spell, that's really bad for us. Get in. I mean, they would have had to just literally top deck it. Blood Crypt, tapped. All right, no removal spell, so that's good. Ma, no threats. Polluted Delta. Opponent passes. No play Marsh Flats. We're going to keep shambling. Sooner or later, this is not going to work, but get into a shambling vent. Opponent grabs Polluted Delta. Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. Down to six. We're up to 17. There's the Traverse. Come on, deck. Plays Death Shadow. We gotta draw something, deck. This not drawing anything plan, not gonna, not gonna work now. Get a Godless Shrine. Play Wall of Omens. Draw A. Elspeth. Okay, that's, that's a good sign for future turns. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Uh, or opponent draws Thought Seize. Yep. Watery Grave. Tapped. Death Shadow is a 9-9. Well, Field of Ruin the Watery Grave. Grab a Swamp. Opponents, no basics. Eternal Scourge. Play the Swamp. <laughs> Pass the turn. Oh, we're a removal spell away. Just kidding. Now we're not. Goyf. Opponent plays the Goyf. Passes. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess we just damnate Sean. Pass the turn. Hope our opponent whiffs and we can get in two shambles. They got lots of discard and bad cards in their deck. Opponent passes. Well, Inquisition's not bad horrible let's just do a check for removal here it's a thought seize so fire up shambling vet man we might be sneaking out this win hit our opponent down to two come on no no whammies yes and our opponent scoops it up okay well <laughs> no descent to madness but uh we won all right Sideboarding against this deck. Anguish and making Wrath of God. Rest in peace. Go down. Collective Brutality. A couple of Thought Seizes. And one Scourge. Let's try it like that. Okay. No Descent, but Rest in Peace can be pretty good here. Opponent, Polluter Delta. Cracks Polluter Delta. Rest in Peace shuts off their Traverse. Shuts off a lot of what they're trying to do. Wow. Oh boy. This is the scary hands when they have double Street Wraith. Opponent all the way down to 11. Takes Fatal Push. Uh, play a Swamp. Pass the turn. So opponent can have turn two Death Shadow. Bloodstained Mire. Cracks it. Blood Crypt. Untap. Down to eight. Death Shadow. All right. Well, I'm not sure if any deck will be that start. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just not a whole lot you can do about about this draw from the opponent. It is, uh, it is a literal nuts for Death Shadow. Two Death Shadow, five life on turn three. Doesn't get any better. Uh, make that three life and make that we're dead. That's just, that's the, the dream, the dream draw for Death Shadow. Okay, I mean, I guess we mean, like, go down our discard as crazy as that sounds and go up ley lines let's try it like that shambling vent go no ley line unfortunately Vern catacombs opponent cracks it overgrown tomb untapped and there's a thought seize opponent's got options takes rest in peace we kind of wanted that play a planes run out wall of omens draw a card well lingering souls can be good godless shrine untapped down to 13 and it's a tarmogoyf okay We'll play Field of Ruin, and we will just Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. With our opponent losing so much life, Lingering Souls is a... Oh, man, still losing life. Is a good way to steal games. Opponent. Yeah, we're going to block. If our opponent has an instant to pump Goyf, then okay. All right, there's a Fatal Push on a Spirit. Grows the Goyf. Yep. Opponent passes. Well, get in with our Spirit. Hit our opponent to 10. Play Wall of Omens. Draw a card. There's Descent. I think we're just going to kill Goyf. Play the land tapped. Kill Tarmogoyf. Opponent kills our wall. Okay. Well, pass the turn. Mishra's Bobble for our opponent. Cracks it. Sees what we're going to draw. There's that Shadow. Well, let's see what we draw. Opponent draws an extra card. Godless Shrine. Well, play Marsh Flats. Crack it. Grab a Swamp. 
Yeah, let's kill Blood Crypt. Grab a Swamp. Get in with Lingering Souls. Flash back Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. There's a Tarmogoyf. Opponent. Gets in with Death Shadow. We will take it. Because I th think we just want to Elspeth here, which is going to be pretty good. Play Elspeth. Tick down. Destroy Goyf. Destroy Death Shadow. Get in with our spirits. And now, although we might just win with Elspeth, we do have the Descent Lock to start taking up next turn. Ah, uh, so we're gonna win, but are we gonna get to Descent? There's Traverse. Wow. Polluted Delta? Well, run out Descent to Madness. Take up Elspeth. Get in with our spirits. Opponent cracks. What does our opponent have? Why would they pollute a Delta? Are they just killing themselves? Is that what's happening? Oh, they said they grabbed the wrong fetch? And scoops it up? Uh, well, Descent didn't really start doing much, but, uh, we won against Death Shadow. Uh, sweet. All right, all right, against the odds time. Descending into Madness in Modern. Marsh Flats pass the turn. Field of Ruin, well, crack Marsh Flats, grab a Godly Shrine, tapped. Play Field of Ruin, run out a Wall of Omens, digging for our Descent to Madness. Draw a card. Descent? All right, well, we found our Descent to Madness, but we have to live long enough to actually cast it. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent, and passes. Jeez. No, deck, don't do this to us. Give us lands, deck. Give us lands, please. All right, there's a Godless Shrine. We're going to play an untapped. We don't want to get caught by a Leon and Arbiter, and we want to kill something. Oh, that's what our opponent's doing. Okay. Opponent passes. Well, play a Prism. Opponent's got infinite counters. We know that. Opponent remands. Well, we'll pass. Miss our land drop, unfortunately. Opponent plays a land. Passes. Well, <laughs> we're drawing descents for once. Uh, we are not drawing lands to cast them. Opponent has cryptic command. Gonna counter and draw. Sure. We'll pass. Another land for our opponent. Passes. Not a land. I'll play Lingering Souls. Well, this is a sad story. Opponent has more remands. Well, we will pass. Cycles. Opponent passes we did draw a land uh this land doesn't especially help us but we'll attempt to cast a lingering souls opponent has a mana leak this deck has a lot of counters another land opponent passes play a prism oh my god opponent has another mana leak <sighs> okay field of ruin well that's not super relevant because we have about a million basic lands opponent cycles there's as foretold and this should be game living end from as foretold opponent's going to make sure we don't draw lands for a while all right play a planes we attempt to wrath when our opponent plays a counter we concede counter number seven and we will scoop it up all right well good news is we get to get rid of some of the horrible cards in our deck which means fatal pushes primarily Bring in Collective Brutality. Bring in Surgical Extraction. Bring in Rest in Peace. And we might just try it like that, I think. Uh, hmm. We have every single Eternal Scourge in our entire deck, which means this hand does pretty much nothing. So we're going to mulligan. All right, well, let's cry into a land and play Rest in Peace. That is not a land to the bottom. Well, come on, deck. You can do it. You can do it. One time deck, one time be nice. <laughs> oh no. Oh, our deck is taunting us severely. All right. So we did get our dream draw of a land. The problem is now our opponent just counters lingering souls and we never cast a spell and we lose. We do not draw land. Well, let's crack our marsh flats. Grab a planes. Yeah, this has just been the nightmare all around. Nightmare of nightmares. Opponent counters spells. Ooh, Cycles, okay. Cycles a Riverwinder. Cycles a Curator of Mysteries. Plays a land. There's a As Foretold. All right, well, the good news is we get to play Rest in Peace. So now we don't just die to the Graveyard Jank. We still have an opponent with an active As Foretold. And we're still not good at drawing lands. Opponent passes. I'll play Wall of Omens. See if we can draw a land somehow. Counters and draws. Yeah? <laughs> Oh man, this this match. 
opponent hard cast a curator of mysteries there's a land play prism i guess collective brutality dress our opponent see how many counters they have the answer is a lot oh boy and they get to Talaria west to draw they have mana leaks yeah this one's uh this one's over boys and girls yeah, opponent cycles, going to get a Ancestral Visions, draws a bunch of cards for free, yep, and I think we just scoop Teleria West, going to get another Ancestral Visions, so they're just going to be up so many cards, Descend into Madness doesn't even do anything, uh, Elspeth gets Mana Leaked for free by the As Foretold, so there's not really... I don't think there's any reason for us to continue playing. Yeah, we're going to, uh, to scoop it up. Yeah, sometimes the magic god frowns and you just, uh, spend a lot of time discarding the hand size. Alright, against the odds time, descending into madness. And we'll keep this. We have our ramp. Hopefully we find a descend into madness. I think let's just lead on swamp off of marsh flats and inquisition. See what our bones got going on over there. Ugh. Remand, Bolt, Infinite Cryptic Commands through the Breach. Okay. Well, we'll take Remand. The hand seems fairly annoying for us to deal with. Pass the turn. If we just draw Descend into Madness, though, that would be insane. And play that on turn three. Opponent, untap land. Interesting. Well, Marsh Flats, crack it. Get a Plains. Run out. Prism. Pass the turn. Come on, Descend into Madness. Otherwise, Elspis. Opponent passes. Oh, play Field of Ruin. Run out Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. Opponent's going to bolt a Lingering Souls token. Interesting. Good news is we don't really care about Blood Moon. Opponent does find another land. Getting close to... Alright. Well, Blood Moon is not super threatening to us. Opponent passes. Hmm. Let's play a Prism. Inquisition our opponent. Islands, Cryptics. That's all. Flashback Lingering Souls. Go attacking. We have the setup to make Descent into Madness good, but we don't have... There's the land. A Descent into Madness, and now our opponent's got infinite cryptics. Let's go attacking. Opponent taps, draws. Well, play Eternal Scourge, pass the turn. Opponent passes. Well, let's go to combat. Attack with everything. Inquisition. All right. We know our opponent's hand. It is super threatening if they manage to draw an Emrakul. Scalding Tarn. Thought Seize is a good one. Let's go to combat. Attack with everything. And I think we pass. So what we want to set up here is hopefully they don't draw Emrakul this turn. They have to tap our team to stay alive. And then we can Thought Seize to take the Through the Breach. So go to combat. There's the tap draw with Cryptic. Then we Thought Seize our opponent. Double Through the Breach Remand. Well, take Remand. Play the land. With this turn, opponent, with this turn one time, one time with, no Emrakuls, no whammies, no removal. Oh, and our post scoops it up. Wow, it worked. We got there. Well, we didn't draw a Descend into Madness, although it would have been great in this matchup. Just eating away our opponent's hand and board would be absurd. It would be so good. Surgical Extraction is reasonable. Collective Brutality is reasonable. Yeah, Wrath of God is dead. Probably go down Fatal Push, go up Rest in Peace, and maybe go down... Fatal push for... Man, maybe we do go Fulminators? Yeah, let's go up one Fulminator. Two Fulminators. Yeah, let's, let's try it like that. See what happens. All right, we're going to keep this. Hopefully we just draw land so we don't get Blood Mooned and Untap Land. So Untap Land is a dream. Well, play Shambling Vent. Pass the turn. Not an Untap Land. Sulfur Falls. Oh, dear. Come on, deck. Give us a land, please. Oh... <sighs> Play Wall of Omens. That tap land really beat us. Oh my goodness. Maximum punishment for Shambling Vent we received. Opponent, many Serum Visions. Finds their land, I'm sure. Scries to the bottom. Come on, deck. Give us a land. Give us a land. Not a land. Well, I guess this wasn't going to work out anyway if we just never drew a land. Although, having infinite thought seizes would have went a long ways towards what we were trying to do. Not a land. All right. Well, I guess the magic gods and now we're to the point where even if we draw land opponent's just going to be able to counter whatever we do opponent's going to spreading seas themselves to draw a card snapcaster mage for lightning bolt 
Well, if we draw land and can collect a brutality here, we're still like, oh, for serum visions, we're still like kind of sort of in this game because we draw black mana, we can like take through the breach and oh boy, we do have 24 lands in this deck, by the way, discard scourge. Yeah, that I think was our last, our last window for potential glory. Another serum visions, six serum visions I've cast leaves one on top. Steam vents tapped gets in with snapcaster. <laughs> oh lord all right prism opponent counters pass the turn oh and it was a field of ruin <laughs> oh, opponent plays a land do they have their combo they do not they electrolyze i mean they're probably just gonna kill us with snapcasters anyway opponent gets in down to nine yeah, and uh, time has come to scoop it up. That one just, that wasn't meant to be. Oh, magic gods, why do you hate us? Why do you hate us? Run it back. All right, we get to play first. We don't have a ton of interaction, but we have some. All right, shambling vents. Go. Well, that's our bonnet got. Tap land. Well, that's marsh flats. Crack it. Grab a planes. Run out prism. Pass the turn. Come on, descend into madness. That's all we need. We have not been mad this match. We haven't even drawn... Well, I guess we drew them last game when we were doing nothing, but haven't drawn many of them. Opponent passes. Play Marsh Flats. Collect your Brutality. Rest Mode. Opponent remands. And I guess we'll just pass. I don't think we want to remove the Prism Counter, because if our opponent has to tap out for, like, Serum Visions or something, and we can get down to Elspeth... We probably win. Oh man, it's happening. I think it's happening. I think that means we're just gonna play a quick Elspeth. Another loot house. Oh my god. Crack. Grab a planes. Well, we're not descending into madness, but we're descending into Elspeth here on turn four. <laughs> Which seems reasonable. Elspeth, the sun's champion. And we'll make some soldiers. Pass the turn. Not sure how our opponent beats an Elspeth. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but... It feels like it should be very good. Opponent passing. Discarding. Discards cryptic. So, yeah. Let's duress. Emrakul, Electrolyze, Anger of the Gods. So many things. Well, I guess we just take through the breach, because that's a card that's most likely to just beat us. Make some soldiers. Man, we'd love a descend to madness. Hit our opponent. Down to 17. Play a Swamp. Play Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. If our opponent gets red mana, they can clear our board. Bolts Elspeth. Bolts us! Oh my goodness, okay. Well, there's some mana. Here comes Anger of the Gods. Yup. Clears the board temporarily. Opponent still needs draws, though. Ooh. Well, make some tokens. Play Prism. Play Fulminator Mage. Blow up one of their lands. And Flashback Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. Elspeth ultimate is potentially lethal. Ugh, never mind. Electrolyze. Opponent staying alive. Draws a card. And passes. Well, make some tokens. Get in with our soldiers. Play Lingering Souls. Slash back Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. Presenting lethal again. So our opponent... Uh, blue mana. All right. Opponent gets to stay alive thanks to Cryptic. Man, what a, what a battle. Opponent passes. Taps us down. Let's Wall of Omens. Draw another Elspeth. Lingering Souls. Ultimate Elspeth. And pass the turn! They found the Breach for Emrakul, but it is not enough. Opponent attacks. Sure. We'll just sack lands. Block with Wall of Omens. <laughs> Flying Wall of Omens. Well, no descend into madness, but... It's a win. Apparently turn four Elspeth. Pretty good sometimes. Uh, sweet. <laughs> All right. Against the odds time, we are descending into madness in modern and... Uh, All right. No descent. But we got Thawseeds on one. Wall of Omens. Opponent's playing humans. Think we just take Aether Vial and make our opponent cast one card a turn. Hopefully that slows them down enough that we can damnation. Or we find Descent of Madness. More Field of Ruins, okay. Well, let's Wall of Omens. Draw a card. Opponent cracks or Windswept Teeth. Gets a Godless Shrine. More Fatal Pushes are nice. Ancient Ziggurat for our opponent. And Dark Confidant, I assume. There's a Dark Confidant. 
Let's play Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin, the Ziggurat. Grab a Swamp. And just Fatal Push, Dark Confinant. Pass the turn. Woo, and Swift Teeth for our opponent. Cracks it. Just going to Renegade Rattlier back, Dark Confinant. Yep. Gets back, Dark Confinant. I guess that's kind of a combo. Opponent passes. How do we want to do this? Let's play Prism. Fatal Push, Dark Confinant. Pass the turn. Ugh. Sin Collector. That's annoying. That can actually take our Damnation. Yep, there goes Damnation. Ugh. Okay. Opponent passes. Oh, play a Prism. Pass the turn. Oh, we needed that Damnation. Not having Damnation might be the death of us if our opponent draws a land here. Opponent has a Mare of Avabruck. All right. Opponent rallies in for four. I guess it is time to empty everything and start Elspething. Spent all of our mana. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Wow. Okay. Kills our creatures. Elspeth, Elspeth, Elspeth. <sighs> so we need to block Renegade Rallier to keep our Elspeth alive. Good lord, that Pontiff. Well, make some soldiers. Play Eternal Scourge. Play a Plains. Pass the turn. And we still do not have Descend into Madness, of course. There's the Alias Lieutenant to pump the dorks. And a Noble Hierarch to pump Thalia's Lieutenant. Opponent. Everything at Elspeth. So block mare, chump, chump, chump. Untap. Thought sees our opponent. Take, I guess we take freebooter. Make some soldiers. Eh, let's pass. There's the mare. Pumps the dorks. And a Thalia. Pumps Thalia's lieutenant. Opponent. Elspeth, 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 Elspeth. So kill, chump, chump, chump. We draw Marsh Flats. We might just be dead. All right, I guess this is all we can do. Pass the turn. Wow, we're going to lose. Opponent plays a land. They have a lot of basics for being the deck that they are. Gets in for five. Well, crack Marsh Flats. Get a Godless Shrine. Starts making wolves. <laughs> and we scoop it up. Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay. Bring in Wrath of God, bring in Collective Brutality. We're going to go down a couple Thought Seizes. Could be in a Timely. Let's bring in one Timely over a Thought Seize. Try it like that. All right, we play first. And all right, we'll give this a shot. Concealed Courtyard and Inquisition. We will take Sin Collector. Pass the turn. Windswept Teeth for our opponent. And passes. Well, play Marsh Flats. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Godless Shrine. Tapped. Ancient Ziggurat for our opponent. And a Thalia. We'll crack Marsh Flats. Grab a Swamp. And we'll just Fatal Push. Kill the Thalia. Play Marsh Flats. Crack it. Grab a Plains and Lingering Souls. Pass the turn. Our opponent can kill the tokens with Pontiff. Another Ziggurat. Opponent draws another Sin Collector. Takes a Collector Brutality. Yep. We draw. Not much. Get in with our Spirits. Hit our opponent. Play Godless Shrine. Tapped. Kill Sin Collector. Pass the turn. Could use some of our good cards. Opponent finds a Champion of the Parish. And wow, Dark Confidant. Okay. Temple Garden. Opponent passes. Well, get in with our Spirits. I think we got a flashback lingering souls. Yeah, let's flashback lingering souls. We got to make our opponent cast their hand here. Dark Confidant, come on, no whammies. No, no Bob Luck. All right, forest. Plays the forest. And there's the pontiff. Creature one. Yep. And there's Alia's lieutenant. All right, well, we get to wrath our opponent. <laughs> Hopefully we draw something to follow it up, because we don't have anything left. Opponent gets in for 8, hits us to 10. We, Wrath of God, pass the turn. Prism doesn't do much. Let's see what our opponent has. Oh, goodness. You gotta be joking! <laughs> yeah, Descent to Madness is actually bad for us here, and I think that's game. Opponent's just drawn everything. Wow! That's some... Um... Some good draws. Gets in. 
We gotta draw a Wrath or we lose. We will get rid of a Prism. Opponent will sack a useless land. Wrath, please? It's not a Wrath. I mean, I guess we'll keep playing for another turn, but we are very dead here. That Dark Confidant is... Yep, there's Noble High Arc. Dark Confidant is just the perfect post-Wrath card. Plays Noble High Arc. Did you draw two humans, opponent? They did. Wow! All right, good running. Good running, good running. All right, against the odds time, we are descending into madness in modern, and we're going to keep this mostly because of all of omens. No descend into madness, but eh, hopefully we draw into it. <laughs> Security Refuge. Haven't seen that one in a while. This is like old school budget. Uh, we'll just grab Godless Shrine. Let's Marsh Flats. Crack it. Grab a Plains and run out Wall of Omens. Dig in for our Descent. Uh, Alright, not a Descent, but Fatal Push is okay. Pass the turn. Opponent has a Plains. Let's just collect a Brutality Dress Mode. Try to get a peek at what our opponent's doing. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> I think... I think Turbo Fog loses to Descent into Madness. <laughs> For a minute, I was going to be like, oh my goodness, this isn't good. But I think Descent into Madness just straight up beats Turbo Fog. Well, that's Lingering Souls. Play Shambling Vent. Pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. And, oh, Trading Post. Hmm. I don't know what's happening. Well, now we get to find out. Let's Thought Seize. Two Condemns and Lands. All right. Well, let's flashback Lingering Souls. Play Field of Ruin. Get in with our spirits. Hit our opponent for two. And pass the turn. Opponent passes. Ooh. All right. Let's go attacking. What in the world is Swift Maneuver? Pre prevent the next two damage will be dealt to target creature or player this turn. Draw a card at the beginning of your next upkeep. What is happening? <laughs> What is going on? That's not even a fog. That's like a two mana, very much not a fog fog. Well, Marsh Flats, crack it. I guess we just run out of Elspeth. Seems like the thing to do here. Hopefully our opponent didn't draw into a counter. Play Elspeth. Blue, white, somewhat foggish cards that I own. <laughs> I honestly did not know Swift Maneuvers was a magic card. <laughs> All right. All right. Fair enough. Let's make some... Elspeth soldiers. Pass the turn. I assume they're trying to fog us out. I don't even know. I don't know anymore. Discards Evolving Wilds gains some life. Draws their Swift Maneuvers card. Uh-huh. Plays a land. Mentor the Meek. Ooh, combo. It's a combo. You make a goat, you draw a card. Pay a life. <laughs> yes, combo. <laughs> they're, go they're going for it right away. Uh, sure. Pony gets to draw with Mentor. Now, we're going to have to kill this. Or we could draw a Descend into Madness deck. All right, play Wall of Omens. Field of Ruin, the Sajiri Refuge. Get a Swamp. Inquisition our opponent. Oh, it's a Thopter Foundry deck. Well, I guess we take Thopter Foundry. Also combos with Mentor of the Meek. Kill Mentor of the Meek. Make some Elspeth Soldiers. Go attacking. And I feel like we're in pretty good position. I wish we'd draw Descend into Madness, though. Look at all the tokens we have to sack. Opponent gives up on the trading post, draws a card, passes. Oh, he finally drew it, but the problem is I think we're just going to win without it. Go attacking. Opponent chumps. Swift maneuver. Opponent needs a Wrath. Yep. And let's play Descent into Madness. Heading down the stairs. And we'll pass. Uh, opponent scoops it up. Yeah, man, this seems like a great Descent into Madness matchup, if we can find it. Let's just run it back. Uh, all right. Evolving Wilds. Yep, opponent cracks. And passes. Well, that's Swamp. Still not exactly sure what our opponent's deck does. Thopter Foundry, Mentor of the Meek, and Classic Swift, Ma Swift Maneuver. <laughs> they got a lot of Swift Maneuvers. Well, we'll take Thopter Foundry, pass the turn. Opponent's... They're doing their own against the odds. I respect that. Ooh. Ooh. Man, that was a draw. Well, let's run out Wall of Omens. See if we can hit our land drops. All right, there's a Marsh Flats. Heading the right direction. There's Mentor. 
Well, we can just crack our marsh flats and kill it. Oh, descent! We're getting close. This might be a descent game. Crack marsh flats. I guess we got to get a godless shrine here. Fatal push mentor. Thought sees our opponent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too swift maneuvers. <laughs> Not swift enough. Oh my goodness, this deck. If they draw Thopter Foundry, we could still just lose. Now there's a land, so let's play Eternal Scourge. In case we do get to Descent. Let's play Godless Shrine, tapped, and pass the turn. Oh, Isochron Scepter <laughs> Swift maneuvers. Alright, that's, that's spicy. Opponent takes the swift maneuvers. Come on, land. All right, Wall of Omens. Uh, not a land. Get in with Eternal Scourge. Yeah, we might we might lose <laughs> to this. <laughs> opponent exiles our Scourge. And opponent untaps. Plays a land. Come on, land. All right, we'll do it the slow way. Play Prism. Play Eternal Scourge. Pass the turn. Opponent's drawing extra cards, though, which is a good way to stop our descent. Yep. Opponent gets an extra draw. I guess we would have sideboarded in ways to deal with this if we knew about it. Opponent passes. Well, we get a land. Let's get in with Eternal Scourge. Opponent swift maneuvers. Prevents the damage. Well, Marsh Flats, crack it. Grab the Swamp and run out Descent into Madness. Oh, my God. God! Uh, no! Uh, well, we didn't bring in answers to Isochron Scepter, because we didn't know that that was a thing. And now we might just lose to Isochron Scepter, as sad as that is. Play Eternal Scourge. Go attacking. <sighs> yup. Ugh. This is ultra annoying. Play Field of Ruin. Pass the turn. Opponent draws more cards. Plays a land. I think if they find Thopter Foundry, we just scoop. Day of Judgment. Crags of Alving Wilds. It's an island. And passes. We will take a Field of Ruins. Pass the turn. Opponent draws an extra card. Opponent plays a land. Another Sword of the Meek. We'll play Prism. Man, we're not doing a bit of anything. Opponent draws an extra card. Yep. Another Isochron Scepter. With more swift maneuvers. I'll play Wall of Omens. Draw a card. Play Elspeth. This is actually a way we can get out from under all this <laughs> scepter nonsense. Elspeth resolves. Well, take up Elspeth. Pass the turn. Man, I forgot that Elspeth can blow up everything. Even if they draw a Thopter Foundry, we're not just dead. Because we have Wrath of God. Or not necessarily dead, at least. Yep. Draw some cards. Preventing non existent damage. Opponent plays the Jury Refuge. There's the Foundry. Now let's see. Luminarch Ascension. Well, let's Ultimate Elspeth blow up the world. Opponent's going to make some Thopters. Uh, let's add mana, since we're going to be blowing up our Prisms. Makes a Thopter. So in theory, our opponent just spends all their mana doing this, and then we Wrath of God, and we're still okay. And we still even have an Elspeth. Yup. Yup. So here comes the Thops. Yep. The world gets blown up. We Wrath of God. Get rid of the Thopters. Opponents definitely got some spice. I actually kind of like the swift maneuvers now. We were laughing about it earlier, but it actually seems kind of sweet now that we see uh, the Isochron Scepter. Kill Sajiri Refuge. Get a Plains. Fixing our mana. Play Shambling Vent. Pass the turn. Come on, Descent into Madness. You can do it, deck. Marsh Flats. Well, take up Elspeth. <laughs> I guess we start Shambling because we got nothing else going on. Get in with Jambles. Play Marsh Flats. Opponent gains a life from Sidiri Refuge. Well, that's Inquisition. See what our opponent's got in hand. Si oh man, good god. Uh, we do not want to see Silence on a chant. That would be bad. Fire up Jambling Vent. Get in with Shambling Vent. Make some soldiers. Pass the turn. Opponent blows our stuff up. This still could end with the timeout. Twilight Drover. Alright, Crack Marsh Flats. Get a Godless Shrine. Tapped. And Fatal Push. Gets back the Swords of the Meek, but no creatures to go with them. Opponent's deck is interesting. <sighs> More Field of Ruins. I guess I should be activating this Shambling Vent before taking up Elspeth. We're costing ourselves a point of life there, actually, from 
Laziness. Get in with Jambling Vent. Pass the dirt. More Swords of the Meek. Opponent passes. Man, I'm almost to the point where I'm ready to Ghost Quarter ourselves just to get a land out of our deck. Get in with Jambling Vent. <laughs> I think we're going to go back on the Ticking Up Elspeth plan in case we need to blow everything up again. So Jerry Refuge. Well, Lingering Souls picks up the pace on our clock at least. Flashback Lingering Souls. Fire up Shambling Vent. Take up Elspeth. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. <laughs> this match has been ridiculous. Uh, yup. Up to 30. Trading post. Yeah, that's pretty sweet with Sword of the Meek. Draw some cards. Makes a go. Equips. <laughs> Uh, yup, the world's biggest goat. 3 7 <laughs> with triple sword of the meek. Bonifazes. Oh, really? Are we just doing this again? Alright, blow up everything. Fire up Shambling Vent. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. <laughs> oh, we've ultimated this Elspeth Thrill twice now. And it's the only reason that we're in this game. We would have lost a long time ago. Actually been pretty impressive. No one plays Elspeth, but blowing everything up after one plus is actually surprisingly strong. More Elspeth Thrills. And we'll just hold it. Shambling Vent, take up Elspeth. We could try to go faster, but I think this is fine. Hit our opponent. In theory, we have a two turn clock if our opponent doesn't draw. I don't know. Scepter. What do they have for the scepter? Negate. Okay. I think we got there. Scepter negate's annoying, but I don't think we need to do anything other than just firing up Shambling Vent. Wow, what a ridiculous match. Well, no descent into madness again, but Elspeth. <laughs> okay. Activate Scepter. I like some of the stuff our opponent's deck was doing. Definitely budget and a little rough around the edges, but some cool ideas. So what do we learn this week about Descent into Madness in Modern? And overall, our record was fine. We got in six matches, we won three, which is like 50%. We played 15 games, we won seven, which is just under 50%. So like about 50% by both metrics. I was mostly disappointed that we didn't really have too many Descent into Madness games. That's one of the weird things that happens every once in a while with Against Odds decks. We build an Against Odds deck around a specific card, and sometimes you just don't draw that card very often, and this was one of those weeks, so I was impressed by our Elspeth, I guess, was probably the most impressive cards in our deck. Elspeth Threll in specific, I forgot how good that card was. The ability to plus it once and then blow up everything actually seems surprisingly relevant in a world of lantern control and non-creature permanents in modern. So, I don't know, I'm curious... Uh, and interested in checking out Elspeth Terrell more, maybe in other decks that are actually more dedicated to Elspeth Terrell and less dedicated to Descent into Madness. So I think with all the restrictions that come with building around Descent into Madness and the hardness of actually breaking the card, I feel like this deck did a pretty good job. I'm just disappointed we didn't have more games where Descent into Madness went really crazy and did anything that good. We either didn't draw a Descent into Madness, or in games where we did draw a Descent into Madness, by the time we had Elspeth out and Lingering Souls tokens out, we were often so far ahead that our opponent would just scoop it up and wouldn't let us get any Descent into Madness value. So, I don't know. The deck itself was sweet. I think our ways of breaking Descent into Madness are sweet. Pented Prism to play it on turn 3, Eternal Scourge to keep casting from Exile, all of our cards that either give us an extra card like Wall of Omens or give us extra creatures like Elspeth Thrill, Elspeth Sun's Champion, Lingering Souls. I feel like this is a good Descent into Madness deck. I just wish we had seen Descend into Madness do a little bit more than we saw it do. So overall, the deck was reasonably effective for being a little bit crazy and being built around Descend into Madness and Elspeth and Eternal Scourges, but we didn't see Descend into Madness just absolutely go off. The closest was probably our very first match against Tron, and that one was so sad because we actually got a Descend into Madness up to three, but our opponent drew an incredible amount of Tron lands. So, anyway, hopefully it was fun. I thought the deck was fun, at least, even though we didn't do too much craziness with Descend into Madness, so I guess that's the good news. Anyway, that's our against the odds for this week. Descent into Madness for Modern. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.